Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are continuing our coverage of JAMA 3 models. We already have done the local installation of three variants of this model as you can see on your screen in 1 billion, 4 billion and 27 billion. If you ask me, I believe 27 billion one is one of the best models out there this month of March because not only this model is quite lightweight for its given size but it really follows the instruction quite closely its context window of 128k is also very performant and its multilinguality is quite decent and i would say even 80 percent correct on most of the 144 languages but for me best of the um breed thing about this model is that its instruction tuning has been done quite nicely so what we are going to do in this video we are going to fine tune this JAMA 3 4 billion model on a custom data set if you have your own custom data you can simply convert that data into that custom data set format and then fine tune this JAMA 3 model on the same data set if you want to know how to do that just go to my channel and then search with data set you will find heaps of videos the tool which i'm going to use in order to accomplish this is called as unsloth unsloth i have covered a lot on the channel i have even interviewed its founder so if you're interested just search on the channel primarily what unsloth does it enables you to fine-tune the models in a quantized format or even in full with a lot of ease there are other libraries too, Exolotl and few others which you can use but I am going to go with this Unsloth and then we will fine tune our JAMA 3 4 billion model on a custom data set. So let's get started and don't worry I am also going to give you the link to the notebook in video's description. Let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a discount coupon of 50% on a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment and then we will get cracking. This is not mandatory but always a good idea to create these virtual environments to keep things separate. Next up, let's install all the prerequisites. So you can see that I'm installing Unsloth and I am installing the transformer from source with JAMA 3. This is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait. Meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. Okay, so let's go back and see what is happening almost there. Everything is installed. Next up, we need to log into Hugging Face because we are using a gated model. So I have grabbed my read token from huggingface.co and I'm just going to put it here. So it's a free token. And if you don't want to put it in here, I will also show you uh, where you can put it in later on. So let me now launch my Jupyter notebook and then we will see how to do the fine tuning. And now let's import the unsloth and then download this JAMA 3 4 billion instruction tune model. And you can see that it has downloaded the model and now it is downloading the tokenizer. And the model with the tokenizer is downloaded. And you see that we are just loading it in 4 bit in order to improve the memory uh, consumption in this quantization. Okay, next up, we what we are doing going to do, we are adding the LoRa here. Now, if you closely look at this code, we are just adding a LoRa adapter so that we only need to adapt a small amount of parameter. So this is where uh, we are starting our fine tuning because fine tuning an AI model refers to the process of adjusting a pre-trained model or a base model to be better perform on a specific task or data set. This involves adding a new layer or tweaking the existing weights and biases of the model that's a, that enables it to leverage the knowledge gained from a larger, smaller data set. 
and by doing so fine tuning is enabling knowledge transfer reducing training time and improving performance on the specific task or domain so that is what we are going to do and as far as this code is concerned let me explain so i'll just scroll down so if you look at this uh, code we are just specifying the tokenizer first and then afterwards if you look here we are freezing the vision layers in the first line and then we are allowing the language layers to be updated during fine tuning so we are only updating it for the uh, text not for the images or anything else and then we are saying fine tune attention module to be true so it means that attention modules will also be fine tuned and then mlp uh, modules which is multi-layer perceptron modules will be also fine tuned and then r is 8 which is uh, the rank of the lora adapter lora is low rank adaptation where smaller values reduce the number of updated parameters and then lora alpha is 8 which is control the scaling of lora adapter lora dropout is 0 we have disabled the dropout for it and then there is no bias uh, and we are telling it that no bias term should be added to the lora adapter and then we are adding some seed for reproducibility so our model is ready the next thing we need is data for the data what we are going to do we are going to get that um, conversational style fine-tuned data so i'll just grab a data set from hugging face and then before that i'm also specifying the chat template so that because um, that is where you define that how the model should be responding and then you see that we are using the chat template for gemma 3 and the data set has also been downloaded and then we can simply standardize this data set as per unsloth format by using this function and that, <clears throat> that is also fairly quick next up what we need to do we just need to apply the jamma 3 chat template on this data set which we have just downloaded that should be fairly quick as you can see so the model is ready data set is ready now let's initialize our trainer and unsloth normally i have seen that uses this hacking face um, sft trainer supervised fine tuning trainer from their trl library so if you look at this uh, code this is actually quite simple and i have done various videos in detail on every parameter here but just to give you an idea so as i said we are using sft trainer we are then specifying our model our tokenizer this is a data set on which this model is going to be trained and then we are no we are not giving any evaluation data set and then these are all the arguments for training where we are specifying the text field in the data set which we are picking up so it is a the name of the field is text you can of course change it as if you are using a different data set and then we are setting this batch size we are also telling it that okay um, the gradients will be accumulated over four steps and then five will be the warm-up steps and then training step learning rate and all that stuff and again i'm using adam w optimizer which is a standard and then we are also setting this weight decay rate as i said if you want to learn more about these parameters in detail just search my channel i have done full-blown videos on it in very very simple language so let's wait for it to get initialized it just takes around a minute or two and for the purpose of this demo another thing which you can do is to just use unslots train on completion method to only train on the assistance or model response and ignore the loss on the user input this primarily help increases accuracy of fine tune and i would highly suggest that you also use this train on completion and that should be fairly quick too and then you can simply tr start the training by running this trainer dot train function and this is going to take a bit of a time and there you go so the training has started it will also keep showing you the eta and all that stuff let me quickly show you the vram consumption in real time so that you could also run it at your own so it is consuming just over 8 gig of vram so it's very lightweight as unsloth really makes it quite easy to get these things fine-tuned 
see it's already there so let's wait for it to check it out and you will see that the loss will keep coming down gradually and the fine tuning of the model is done on our tiny teeny data set and then you can simply go and start doing inference on it or in other words you can start using your own new model so model is already there so we are just giving it this prompt to continue the Fibonacci sequence and then we are asking it to generate the output and we are printing it out and there you go the model has given you the response now if you want to save this model locally for future use you can simply use the save pre-trained both the model and tokenizer and if you want to upload it to your hugging face just give it your hugging face account name just like i have my own name it's primarily your username from your profile and then just upload it give it any name of your choice and then get the right token from hugging face right mean w-r-i-t-e and that is again a free token so that you could write to hugging face uh, hub so that's it that's how easy and quick it is to fine tune this gemma 3 model on your own data set by using unsloth so let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching